Hi, welcome. Today I would like to talk about C Sharp using AES encryption and uh, you can use it to encrypt text and uh, recover it. Uh, so let's get started. To just give you an idea of AES, you can basically look for it on the Wikipedia and it's called Advanced Encryption Standard. Some terms to worry about in the AES standard is the key size can be one of these values the block size can be one of these values as well. So you will see that when I start to do this program as to how we use them. So um, basically I have a small program here. Uh, the, I can uh, show you what it does. It's basically a text box where I can enter some clear text and when I hit encrypt uh, it will essentially encrypt the text and show it over here and when I hit decrypt it will take this decrypted text and show it back here. So just to give you an example of how it works, I can just click on encrypt. So I had type in some clear text here. It is this encryption. So if I remove everything from here and I just say decrypt, it should decrypt the text and show it here. So let me show you how this program works and what it is using. So as I had basically mentioned to you, uh, you want to get this class called AES Crypto Service Provider and it's in the class system security cryptography and you get a new instant you, you saw the block sizes that uh, it uses for aes from the wikipedia is 128 so we said that key size could be uh, several values but i'm choosing 256 uh, right now i'm uh, it needs an initialization vector and i'm going to just have uh, the this class itself generate an initialization vector for me and also generate a key automatically a random key the mode i'm going to use the cbc mode the cipher block chaining mode and the padding i'm going to use pkcsn is for uh, public key cryptography scmn that's called the padding mode so just to give you a little bit overview uh, you can go to the wikipedia again and look at the cipher block chaining uh, basically uh, we work on text which is about the size and we XOR with initialization vector and you give it a key cipher text is back again XOR that's how the this algorithm works in terms of the padding where we pad the number of bytes if it's not the complete number of bytes PK is C7 is here in the Wikipedia and it just uh, whatever number of bytes is padding it pads it in this manner so if it's padding 5 bytes it's going to just add all this so that should uh, give you a good idea of the parameters that you need and that's all the initial parameters I need so for encrypting, what I'm going to do is I obviously take a clear text and I'm going to return an encrypted text. So the way to do this is to get an encrypto transform. And uh, so I'm going to uh, just set up a breakpoint here so we, we can kind of uh, see uh, how this, uh, well not over here, uh, let's say in this class when we get a call to uh, encrypt the string and the call to decrypt the string so basically what you want to do is you want to get an object of high, high crypto transform and on your crypto provider which i had already initialized as part of my class the constructor uh, is right over here uh, you want to create an encryptor so that's pretty straightforward you get that and once you have the transform you want to call something called the transform final block and it takes an input buffer which is bytes so one way to get the bytes is basically you can use this method as encodings as key get bytes and you give it the clear text we'll start from zero and the length and so that should be pretty straightforward and we get the encrypted bytes uh, what i found is that when you're working in encrypted bytes it's much easier if you're going to put it as a text box it to convert it into base 64 string so that's what i'm doing convert it into base 64 string this encrypted bytes and send it down here so just if you want to take a quick look uh, if you want to uh, just uh, try another one let's say i would do it uh, visit uh, my site gaur associates to search for videos and let's say i just say encrypt is going to come here so you can see the clear text is visit your associates to search for videos and your base 64 string is basically going to be this and the encrypted bytes are uh, 48 bytes just like that so let's just uh, let it go 
and if you go in the program you can see it's so coming over here and if I clear this up here so it's all cleared and I say decrypt it's going to come here the cipher text is whatever we had typed in and the return string is basically decrypted and uh, so similar to what I was explaining in the decryption mode what you want to do is take your crypto provider and create a decryptor so I have created a decryptor here and I'm doing a transformation I get to transform and then essentially uh, what you want to do is take your cipher text and change it from base 64 string and to get the bytes and once you have and you essentially do the same thing transform transform final block give it the encoded bytes here zero and then get it by length and it should decrypt the bytes and that you can get the string back and then show it again so that's pretty much uh, how this works so hopefully you enjoyed this and if you want to search and you can search for my website and look for uh, various videos and stuff including mine and other uh, other people's videos so thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day